So, for the past few weeks, I've spent my time modding Roblox Noob into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This mod replaces Steve Minecraft as well as his weapons, tools, TNT, blocks, and plenty more. So stay tuned for the showcase. Let's start the showcase with weapons. In Roblox, weapons are commonly known as gears, so I decided to replace every single one of Steve's weapons with different gears that correspond to the materials. Here, take a look. And there we are, there's all of Steve's weapons. Sorry for leaving that part uncommented, but oh my lord, that'd be way too much to commentate on that section. Anyways, let's move on to the next part, Thieves Neutral Special. Well, we've covered the first two parts, let's move on to blocks. As you can see on the left, Steve has new blocks. These blocks are a reference to a classic Roblox game known as Welcome to Roblox Building. Classic Roblox building game put up on the actual Roblox page back in the day. This game had you build on your own base plate, and you could pick from many blocks using the stamp tool and many other tools to do whatever you wanted with said blocks. I thought these would be a good fit, considering the size of the blocks is almost one to one with a Minecraft block. And also, if you check Steve's hand, you can see the stamp tool is being used to place down these blocks. This is another call back to the game, where you use the stamp tool to place down the blocks. All in all, this game was the main inspiration behind Steve's building in this mod. Now for Steve's TNT, Steve pulls out the R80 gear. This is one of the classic Roblox bomb gears, and as you can see on the right and left, yeah, they're acting pretty much the same. This comes with the original sound effect, just to make it that little bit better. Here we also have the redstone and pressure plate replacement. These are pulled also from Welcome to Roblox Building and the wiring tool. As you can see here, it acts roughly the same. He even uses the little wrench, which I thought would be a nice little touch to throw in. All in all, very old school reference. Here's one of my personal favorite references, Steve's Minecart. This minecart is inspired by the Cart Ride Into games that you'd see back in the day. It's pretty faithful to the original games, and I've also touched up the rails to make them more in theme with the minecart. For the recovery, I swapped the Elytra with a jetpack from Roblox. Sounds and all. But not just any jetpack, the... <clears throat> US Military Top Secret Experimental Jetpack. Yeah, this is just a generic Roblox jetpack. I thought it fit the best over Elytra, so, well, there we go. For its down tilt, I replaced Flint and Steel with the generic Roblox flamethrower. Well, I mean, it's a flamethrower, so it's kind of self-explanatory what it does. I've replaced the lava bucket with the lava gun. Well, I mean, it's a lava gun. It shoots lava. <laughs> Like, these are starting to get too self-explanatory, to be honest. Finally, for the fire-based attacks, we have the magma block. Well, it's still a magma block. I wanted to change it, but it wasn't really working out. So instead, I've ripped the texture directly from the classic Roblox Sun models back in the day. 
for the anvil, I replace it with a gear known as the Conjurer's Fist. This is a tool that spawns a giant stone fist on your opponent and it's slammed down from the sky. Now I had to downsize the fist unfortunately, but hey, it does the job. This will also make an appearance in our next category of moves, the Froze. I've done a lot to the froze to make sure they fit the theme of this mod. That's why I've taken a little detour just to talk about them. Let's start off with the grab itself. The grab itself uses the grapple and hook from classic Roblox. It doesn't function exactly the same way, but hey, the sounds are all there. Once they get grabbed, however, they are put in the gear known as Horrible Justice. This works very similar to the source material, where if you click on someone with this item, they are stuck behind bars. Because who doesn't love putting their opponents in jail? This applies to every grab, so let's move on to the specific throws. Let's start off with down throw. This also uses the gun first, fist, however it includes the BOOM sound, because that was very necessary. Forward throw and up throw reference the same thing, being the spike trap from Welcome to Roblox Building. This was adapted to better fit the piston, having four spikes instead of one. But besides that, it looks completely faithful to the original model. For the back throw, while there's nothing visually that's referenced, the sound effect is from the banana peel gear. This plays a funny little jingle when you trip over it, and yes, it does get pretty obnoxious pretty fast. But I thought it was fitting, so I decided to put it on back throw because, well, there was nothing much I could do. It's more interesting than the other options, really. With the sleeping animation, the Minecraft bed was replaced with a classic Roblox bed, textures and all. And the model for the parry is a gear known as the Riot Shield. Why I went through the trouble of modeling a shield that will appear for literally 5 frames is beyond me, but hey, it needed to be done. As for Steve's taunts, well I'm just gonna let them play out. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, what does Steve's landing sound sound like now? Well, Now with all of his moves out of the way, we can move on to the final smash. And that was the final smash. This final smash is based off the infamous IT'S FREE advertisement that Roblox did back in the day. The original scene is basically the one from the final smash. It goes to a place called Ice World Base, which actually never existed, is a little fun fact. And then some poorly CG'd guy ends up blowing down the entire building. And I have to give a massive thanks to Anquillus for recreating the map, allowing me to get the opening shot for the final smash. Without the recreation of the level, I would not have been able to make this final smash as easily. And as a token of my appreciation, you can find the game in the description below. So go and check that out if you want to. With all of the moves shown off, it is time to reveal the alternate costumes. Let's start off with the main man himself, Noob. What is there to say about Roblox Noob? Most people that know Roblox know this character. He was the original default avatar. This character is still used today, being a representation of Noob players. However, I would say this character has kind of molded his own identity, not just being a standing for Noob, but rather just the Roblox Noob. Now for the first of two pairs of skins, we have both of the Roblox guests. 
These two technically aren't the guests' original parents. However, I went with these two because there were two separate skins I could pull from, and it's also the era I grew up in. These guest designs were created in 2016, and if you didn't have an account signed in at the time, you could choose to play as either the male or female guest. It's a shame because these guys are no longer on the platform. Their feature was removed quite a while back now. May the guests live on in our heart. Now for our second pair of skins, we have the Roblox default characters, or commonly known as the Bacon Hairs. These two became the main characters you would get when you made a page on Roblox back during 2015 to 2017 when they rolled out the 3.0 avatars. These weren't very well received, but I don't know, they're kind of endearing nowadays considering they've also been replaced by newer skins which just, I don't know, they kind of lack soul to be honest. These two were a no-brainer for the mod. I mean, Bacon Bacon Hair himself is kind of carrying this duo, but obviously with the Bacon Hair bar, I have to go for Bacon Hair Gill as well, so... Next up, we have Builder Man. Builder Man is an account created by the CEO and co-founder of Roblox, David Bazuki. This guy used to send you automated messages when you signed up to Roblox, and he's canonically the CEO of Roblox. Well, I mean, he's owned by David Bazuki, and you'd hope he would be. This character is iconic to Roblox, and I wouldn't have the mod about him. Next up, we have the chicken lover himself, Talamon. Talamon is the account, or technically alt account, of Shitletsky, Roblox's creative director. If you played Roblox back in the day, you've probably seen this avatar pop up once or twice. Not only that, but if you didn't know, this guy made Sword Fat on the Heights, so yeah, pretty integral to Roblox history, huh? Next up, we have our final skin, Mr. Bling Bling. Mr. Bling Bling is rich. He's got stocks, money, investment, bank, dosh. He's all about that bread. You know it to be true. Just look at him. He's pure gold. Probably worth more than you, to be honest. How could you say no to such a rich, beautiful man? Shining teeth, shining suit. Okay, on a more serious note, Bling Bling is used to represent Robux. He's a very common website mascot until, well, a few months ago until he randomly just wasn't on the website, but he was used to represent Robux for a good while, so I thought it'd be good to include him. We have one last thing to show off, don't we? The victory screens! I'll just let them play out, and then I'll wrap up the video. So, enjoy! And that's everything. Now, if you have interest in this mod and you play Smash Bros, then if you look in the description below, you can find a Game Banana link, which will contain the download link and two different versions of the mod. If you could show the mod some love on Game Banana as well, it'd be very much appreciated as that helps get my mod out to more people. And while I'm here, I make mods on the regular, so if you have interest in any of my other mods, there will be showcase videos on this channel that you can check out. And if you want to support me, like and subscribe, you know, on the, the YouTuber jargon, but also check out my other social media pages. I post little teasers on Twitter and all my mods go up on Game Banana. With all that said and done, thanks for watching the video. This has been two weeks in the making and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.